In the middle of Oklahoma City, Harding Fine Arts Academy strives to be a different school. Has arts integration at its core. What makes Harding Fine Arts different? Is it the location in a thriving art district? Is it our accessibility to downtown Oklahoma City? What makes Harding Fine Arts different from other schools? I'd say a lot of it has to do first and foremost with the kind of students that we have uh, here at Harding. Um, ever since my first year of being here, the expectations from the students is even though it's a smaller school, the expectations are a lot higher. They come in with this very big expectation of what are what we should be accomplishing during the year. Um, and that goes for you know, my classes as well too. The kids are coming in and they're expecting us to make big progress. They're expecting us to go to competitions and everything like that. Um, and I think the other part of it is the environment that we have at Harding Fine Arts. Um, just the acceptance of a lot of different viewpoints and ways of thinking and that's usually a really really great thing as any type of artist whether that's a visual form or a performing arts form is that that ability to kind of reach outside of your comfort zone and be able to you know know that you're not necessarily going to be judged at a place you can afford to make a few mistakes you can afford to think a little bit differently because of that environment that we have here as well too. What's well, significant about 1945? How is art integration important? I mainly teach AP courses, so I try to include um, multi-learning facets in any kind of way. Um, one of the easier ways to do, especially with our climate, is through arts integration. Uh, so whether that is involving um, art, dance, drama, uh, music even, to get the curriculum across in a different way rather than straight lecture based um, is another way to reach those kids who need that extra little push. Uh, and it's just a fun way to shake things up inside the classroom. And then when you're going back to side, make sure that ball is hitting the center of your body or a little bit farther, but you don't want to What are some accolades or accomplishments of your students? We want to give kids an opportunity that they don't get anywhere else. At least where martial arts is concerned, you can't get that anywhere else. So I think that's how that we fulfill that mission, is we offer them something that they can't get anywhere else. Since we started the program, we've had students that have gone and competed. Every year since 2016, we have had at least one uh, world champion. It was several years where we've had multiple uh, world champions. This last year, we had nine national champions. And then this upcoming year, we had three students qualify and are on Team USA, and they will go compete for the world championships in Serbia. What do you hope that your students can take away from your class that they can use after high school? I honestly just want them to know that they were loved while they were here. Um, on my hard days here, and there are a lot of hard days, just the nature of being a teacher is just very difficult and it can really um, be disquieting to your spirit. But the kids are just so amazing. I don't think I've also met a group of kids that were just so full of life and energy and they're so smart. They're so bright and so gifted in a lot of different ways. And so whenever I come and I'm having a bad day, every single day I have a student who asks me, how's your day, Pappas? And I'll say, you know, it's not a great day, but just you asking, I, I know that you care. And they're not the only one. I have multiple students saying, how are you doing? You seem a little sad today. Or how are you doing? You seem stressed today. Like they're so good at reading people. And I just want them to know that as long as they were here, Pappas loved them so much. And I know you're not supposed to say I love you to students. But, um, and I don't, but uh, hopefully they know through my listening and through my teaching them and through my planning that I really do care about them and um, that I'm not the only one who loves them. It's a whole team, right? It takes a village and we are a village of people um, loving these kids. What makes Harding Fine Arts different from other schools is our amazing students. Our faculty that strives to make ours a place of growth and acceptance.
But importantly, what brings us together is our mission to bring an arts integrated community of professionals and students that can send their students into the world with the knowledge they need, the willingness to make a change, and to have hearts bigger than the world around them, accepting of differences of every beautiful mark and color on the canvas that is Oklahoma City.